hunt is underway after two L.A. County deputies were shot late last night in Bellflower. CBS News' Cara Finstrom is live with details on what happened and how the deputies are doing right now. Cara? Well, Sharon, the good news is those deputies are both said to be in stable condition, although it's critical. Behind us here, you can see one of the many roads here that remain sealed off. Investigators are collecting evidence from a running gun battle between deputies and a suspect that stretched over blocks. We heard like 10 shots. Raul Vasquez heard the first shots fired by a gunman who triggered a massive overnight search. Investigators believe that gunman tried to get around a DUI checkpoint last night. They say when the deputy on this motorcycle tried to stop him, he jumped out, shooting the deputy numerous times. A nearby driver with a cell phone captured those gunshots. Detectives say the deputy fired back. The suspect sped off, was cornered a block away, and fired more shots, wounding a second deputy. Within minutes, he was back on the run. He's running this way with a pistol in his hand, so... I saw the pistol. Eddie Apple watched the suspect get into what deputies believe was his third gunfight. The cop said, there he is. Um, he drove between those two white trucks. That's when they opened fire. Investigators say the gunman then somehow ended up a block away in a back house with a hostage. Negotiators worked throughout the night to free that hostage. They then drove out the suspect with gas and took him into custody. This is an individual who, uh, throughout the night last night, uh, attempted to murder a number of our deputies. Sheriff Jim McDonald says his two deputies suffered critical injuries and needed surgery, but both are now in stable condition. He says investigators will now focus on what triggered such a rampage. We don't know if he's wanted for something else and that what was in his mind, or if he was uh, impaired and just wanted not to go through a checkpoint. Sheriff McDonald says both those deputies have been with his department for a long time. He says the thoughts and prayers of him and all of his deputies are with them and their families as they continue to recover, Sharon. All right. Cara, thank you for that.